Welcome back. Seeing a movie in a theater has been out of the question for most of this pandemic, but the Utah Film Center is offering some options to cinema lovers. Programming director Patrick Hubley joins us from just outside of our building in Studio 4B. Patrick, thanks for being here. I understand that you guys have recently had a drive-in movie. Yeah, thanks for having me, Rick. Last night we, we hosted a, a screening of a film called Public Trust up at uh, the Peruvian, in the parking lot of the Peruvian uh, at uh, Alta. We partnered with the ski company and Alta's community enrichment uh, organization to, to show to, uh, the film to about 35 cars under the stars and at the foot of the mountains. Wow, that sounds absolutely amazing. And I understand now you have a way to actually bring movies and the theater experience to people's homes. Tell us about that. Yeah, so we've launched uh, what we're calling the Backyard Cinema Program, where we have a, t a 12-foot and a 20-foot screen. We have, yep, there, just like looks just like that, where we can come to your backyard, and uh, you can host a family event or a private event for you and your friends. Um, we'll show up. We'll set the screen up. We'll bring all the equipment that you need to show a film. You can pick the movie, and uh, all the proceeds go to support the Utah Film Center. Wow, everything except the overpriced concessions and the sticky floor. That's great. Well, exactly. <laughs> we, we can figure out a way to recreate those, but, you know. <laughs> I'm sure you can. Hey, tell us about some of your live streams. This is going to be a, a Tuesday night thing. What's tomorrow night's live stream? Yeah, so we've been streaming films uh, on Tuesday nights online for free since uh, late March. And tomorrow night's film's called uh, Collodion. Um, and it's uh, a film a about a, a photographer and a medical doctor, with the same person, who are uh, Utah native, and who ha is using the Collodian photography, which is a, a photography method from the mid-19th century to capture images of, of our natural world. So it's a very much a Utah-focused film. A lot of, there's a lot of Utah characters. Heidi Red's featured in it. And uh, the director's gonna be joining us for a post-film Q&A. Oh, very cool. And then a week from tomorrow, on the 11th of August, tell us about this award-winning film, Boys State. Yeah, Boys State's a really powerful film that won uh, the jury prize at Sundance this past year. And it, it's a documentary that follows a group of about 1,100 young men who go to a week-long summer camp in Austin, Texas, and the summer camp is about forming a state government. So these young men are all uh, tasked with forming a state government from the, from the governor on down. All and right, the film Patrick, I hate, sorry to jump in and interrupt you. It sounds great. Like they say, always leave them wanting more. Uh, check out the live streams and uh, check right. out the Utah Film Center on their website, and we'll be right back.